Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today's lesson is about assessment. In, the, uh, in this lecture, we'll know what is assessment. Uh, assessment is a process of gathering and discussing information from multiple and diverse sources in order to develop a deep understanding of what students know, understand, and can do with their knowledge as a result of their educational experiences. The process culminates when assessment results are used to improve subsequent learning. Erwin also defines assessment as the systematic basis for making in in inferences about the learning and development of students. It is also a process of defining, selecting, designing, collecting, analyzing, interpreting, and using information to increase students' learning and development. Now we we'll look at the difference between the modern and the old traditional uh, way of assessment. We can all remember, ladies and gentlemen, that in the olden days, uh, when we are assessed, there will be a formal person coming maybe from a department of education just to be a, an assessor. The students will be given a, maybe a 30 minutes or two hour paper uh, which will then be assessed. But nowadays, it is not like that. But we look at the explanation of what is the modern assessment. A modern assessment comes in a different way from the olden days. In the past, an assessment task, which is referred to an activity that the students are asked to complete, that will be in a formal a written time constraint examination. With the modern assessment, the students can be assessed through a short PowerPoint presentation. So the a difference between the olden uh, assessment and the traditional one. Now this, uh, the students are assessed based on the maybe presentation or uh, just given a task in a classroom. Then the lecturer will assess the students based on that activity that they are doing. But in the olden ways, there'll have to be a time maybe a teacher will have a 30 minutes or a one hour a period just to assess the students. But now, because we're moving times, this, uh, the students have less time to be assessed. Now we get to the purpose of assessment. The purpose is to gather the relevant information about the student performances or progress and to determine the student interest, interest to make judgments about their learning process. After receiving this information, the assessor can reflect on each student's level of achievement as well as on the performance and specific inclination of the group and to customize the teaching plans. Assessment is a continuous process. Uh, assessment works best when there is continuous activities given in a period. This can happen by giving that by keeping up a record of all students of the learning outcomes during each semester and then reflect on the results. Normally in, in our class, uh, we'll have the lecturers maybe three chapters. Then after three chapters, we'll be given an assessment. Go do an assignment that, that will help just uh, to assess if the, the students have understood the previous lectures that were given to them. Then that is also a continuous process. After having another, three or, or four more chapters, there will be another assessment that will be given to the students, also assessing if the students have understood that lecture. Then in, at the end of each semester, then bo bo all those marks will be combined to give a final mark. That, hence, the assessment is also a continuous process. Now we focus on the different types of assessment. We have summative, and formative assessment. The primary difference between the formative and summative assessment lies in the nature and frequency of occurrence. Let's take a look at the following definitions which will be simplified uh, between the two. We start with the summative assessment. It refers to the evaluation of students that focuses on the results. It is part of the grading process which is given periodically to the participants usually at the conclusion of the course. This can happen normally 
at the end of the, it depending on the type of a course you're doing, a semester course or a year course. So this one will refer to the a year course. Year course that will, when the student will sit down, write a test, a formal test, there will be a moderator in everyone. That's, uh, that's part of a summative uh, assessment. Summative assessment also seeks to evaluate the effectiveness of the course or program. Checks on the learning progress, scores, grades, or percentages obtained to act as an indicator that shows the quality of the curriculum and forms of rankings in the schools. Still on the assessment, it comes with uh, two, two different models. Still under the, the summative, summative assessment. The first one is called the measurement model. The psychologist designed this method to be able to study the differences between the students. As a lecturer, you will have to know that not all the students are the same. As a result, when you're giving out your lectures, you should understand some student uh, can catch fast, can understand fast, but some of the students, st you still need to be slow in order for them to understand. So this is also important aspects when you are giving out the lecturers. So it also continues to say, assesses the student, uh, also the personal characteristics in order to distinguish the rest with the rest of the students. This assessment is called a norm reference assessment. Such model needs performance to be reduced to numbers. <coughs> Sorry, along the scale in order to determine the difference between the students. Then we also have the second one, still under the summative assessment, which is called a standard model. It was developed to study the changes in performance in the case of learning in order to evaluate the changes in performance uh, on what has been learned. This type of assessment is called criterion reference assessment. This reference is mostly used in higher education uh, institution for summative as uh, assessment. The objective of this model is to give clarity on the performance of the students, how they have been taught. Now we take a look at the key differences between the formative and summative assessment. Formative assessment refers to the variety of assessment procedures that provide the required information to adjust lecturing during the learning process. Whereas as the summative ass assessment is defined as the standard for evaluating the learning of students. Formative assessment is diagnostic in nature, while summative assessment is evaluative. Formative assessment is also an assessment for learning, whereas summative assessment is an assessment of learning. So we must learn the, the, the difference. It's quite close to that. Formative assessment occurs on an on, ongoing basis, either monthly, quarterly. On the other hand, summative assessment occurs only at the specific intervals that are normally end of the course. So we can also say that for a formative, you can have your semester test and everything. But as for the, 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 uh, the formative, the summit, actually the formative is the one that you only write at the end of the course. Then we come to formative assessment is conducted to enhance the learning of the students. Uh, but summative assessment is conducted to judge the student performances. Formative assessment is also undertaken to monitor the student's learning as opposed to a summative assessment which aims at evaluating the student's learning. Formative also gives the value of grades of formative assessment is less than the summative assessment. In a sense, it grades obtained will tell about the student's understandability while the grade of South Africa will determine whether the student should be promoted or not. In that case, ladies and gentlemen, our uh, lecture comes to an end. You can also be able to comment or give uh, your opinion based on this lecture. I thank you.